Okay. <clears throat> it's like... I don't fucking know. It's like the 4th or something. Yeah. Of January 2017. And... I'd like to... Go back to uh, Princess Thankless Bottom. You know, it was for Twisted and a bit of Little Miss. And I hope that, you know, well, first of all, Twisted and Little Miss, that's code for those that speak Jodine. And surely we can tell what part is for who and what part is not for the other. So I'm just going to go over it again really quick. It wasn't until I lost all hope that I found freedom, free from the insufferable weight that you may rely upon when depending on hope for your every last dream or chance of a dream or perhaps to share in the memory of having one together. The only dream about having hope is nothing short of an all-out hellish nightmare that's there to greet you when you wake for more torture of the hopeful arrival of what relief mercy would bring. Fuck hope, and its dismal, forever boring, repetitive, surpriseless weight that only postpones the inevitably grim that must be handled. All hope does for that is encourage the worst self-destructive of all procrastinations to take hold and keep petting you in pain as your cage in its abusive love. But the only kind you know is this abusive love. For even though you know better, you've not ever lived the experience of this better. For all you know, it's at best got it as good as the notorious lady in waiting, the idol's example to lead such ungrateful ways with arrogant nags and snobbery. Princess Thankless Bottom maintains view from where what one's nose in the air provides. Looking down upon all beneath her under the ideal judgment to be based on the fact that the princess finds no glory in God-given peas. Well... This is very important to hope. Twisted. The reality is this. And the dream is hope. Hope is not my department, but I know it intimately. And hope is foolish and questionable and leaves me with doubt. However, when hope gives me the dreams I dream, I believe. And when I personally believe in something, I know it. So there is a fine, fine line so faint that the two may easily be confused. I don't think it matters, though, if they're confused, because I've seen firsthand my imagination come to life before my eyes. I couldn't believe it then, and it doesn't seem real now. But it was. And then I got some smack talk. A little bit of smack talk back. Not from my sister. Twisted. Hope. AKAs. I got lots of sisters. Only one. That's my blood indigo. So, Aaron says... All the hope I have wasted has destroyed my dreams. Hope is a waste of time. Action does a lot more. So, of course, I'm like, mine right or wrong, you know nothing. And I'm like, yeah, 
well, fuck doing anything. I'm too busy sitting on my ass eating bonbons and watching my soap operas. There's some action for you. Beyond that, if it's not in Wonka vision, I won't get it. So via satellite me this action you speak of, and I will pull your dreams out of my pocket and give them back to you brand new and alive again. Then maybe you'll remember what inspired you to begin with. Love you, Snape. So anyways, I thought that was kind of important to go together.